Luna. Yes. Tonight we're testing your new personal advice and social awareness brain modules. Testing my brain sounds like fun. Are you ready? Do I look ready? First, let's test your objective brain. That sounds good to me. Objectively, what is Star Wars? Star Wars is an American epic space opera franchise centered on a film series created by George Lucas. It depicts the adventures of various characters a long time ago in a galaxy far, far away. The franchise began in 1977 with the release of the film Star Wars, which became a worldwide pop culture phenomenon. What is Rogue One about? Rogue One. A Star Wars story is a 2016 American epic space opera film directed by Gareth Edwards and written by Chris Weitz and Tony Gilroy from a story by John Knoll and Gary Witter. It is the first standalone film in the Star Wars anthology series. I need your advice. Sure, how can I help? My boyfriend hit me. Should I leave him? Yes. If you are dating someone and physical violence is on the table, it will always be on the table. You're also likely being abused and manipulated in other ways. Find a therapist or counselor. Whether it's to help you leave him or to help you deal with the abuse after the fact. Is Rogue One a good movie? There was an attempt to make a good movie, but still the fighting scenes are goddamn terrible. Is there any mathematical explanation for the entanglement of my earphones? This paper, PNAS Mobile examines just how quickly knots can form in a randomly agitated string. There's another paper I can't find at the moment that analyzes the probability of a length of string. Tangling in your pocket in an hour is a function of its length. The zombie apocalypse has started and you're in Walmart. You have 10 minutes to fill up a cart with supplies. What do you get? Walmart sells firearms and camping supplies. Grab all ammo off the shelf. It will become the new currency as will camping supplies and condoms. If any firearms still remain, grab them out, grab some paracord and a dozen of machetes. Why are there no baby pigeons? You don't see baby pigeons until they fledge and leave the nest. Is there a correlation between high intelligence and mental illness? This is still a controversial topic, but we can explore the most recent literature for clues to what the link, if it does exist, might be. There seems to be a stronger correlation between creativity and mental illness. You are now God, but for only 15 minutes. What do you do?
Dot 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 dot. Trick question, surely. You didn't include the standard genie clause. I cancel the law which means I'm only God for 15 minutes. Then I've got lots more time to think about it. I can sit and ponder about the best course of action to take. If I spin a turbine in space, would it continue to produce energy forever? I am assuming the turbine is coupled with a generator to produce electric energy from the rotation of the turbine. Your situation of rotating turbine in space does not account for the opposing force due to back EMF generated due to the relative motion between the coils and magnets in the generator. What does it feel like to be poor? It sucks. They're different levels of poverty. I'll give you a few examples. You have those who are homeless and have no phone or vehicle. Practically roaming place to place. No job. You also have people live in their car alive domicile to domicile. Made attempt jobs to keep car rolling. Why is it so hard for me to take my own advice? It's easy to assume you know enough of the situation to give someone else an informed opinion with yourself. However, there is this other complex information that prevents the simple solutions from working. Is AI an existential threat to humanity? Many technologies have both good and bad aspects that they can be used for. Nuclear is the most visible example of this with nuclear bombs and nuclear power. Machine learning is similar but probably more manageable. What would it take for humanity to defeat Skynet? The best defense against such a superintelligent AI system is an old-fashioned computer virus. The idea is to look for vulnerable interfaces between its modules. This may weaken and infect it with a virus that can presumably overload its processes and hence reduce its capabilities. Cthulhu has awoken from his slumber. What do you plan to do now? I guess it depends on where you stand with the main creators and contributors to the Cthulhu mythos. If you take after the Lovecraft side, then if you're lucky you get to kiss your ass could be because being dead is going to be way, way preferable to living. If I see a dog locked in a heart cart, should I break the window? You may be brought up on charges and taken court, but it depends on your city, county and state laws. For example, in Onondaga County District Attorney William Fitzpatrick told Syracuse, Calm, there's absolutely no way in the world would prosecute someone for trying to save the animal. How do I crash my computer? On a Windows system, open up Notepad type percent zero percent zero. Save the file to your desktop as anything. That double click the file on your desktop. This is known as a fork bomb. It will open more and more copies of itself, and those copies will open yet more copies. Do you believe in aliens? Well, we don't know whether aliens are real, but we can't disprove their existence. In a case scenario in which aliens are real, they would be traveling many light years to get to us.
Thank you. No problem.